we learned about ICT tools. We defined the ICT tools and we looked at some examples of ICT tools. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at the health and safety in using these ICT tools. At the end of this lesson, I expect you to know what health hazard is and also state some hazards that are associated with ICT tools. Now, let's take a look at the definition of health hazards. So, it's anything that can pose danger to the user. In your homes, your kitchen can pose danger to you if you don't put things at the right place. When you go to the workplaces, and when you go to these big, big factories, like the mining companies, they have this helmet and shoes and goggles that they put on for safety protection. When it comes to ICT, we also have our ICT tools. They can also pose danger to us. So when defining hazards, the health hazards, in defining them, you should know the keywords. The keywords that you should know that it can pose what? Danger. Can pose or uh, a source that can pose what? Danger. To the health of the what? User. So the user is you. Anyone using this ICT tool is exposed to what? Some kind of health hazards. Let's look at some of the hazards that are being associated with these ICT tools. So the first one is television. It can affect our sight, that's vision impairment. When you sit very close to the television, the light and the radiation that comes out of the television can affect your sight. So you need to sit a little bit far from the television when watching them. So the computer, we have a posture in which you need to sit behind the computer or else you get backache, wrist pain, and also vision impairment when you get close to the computer whilst using it. With a backache, if you don't sit well, if you don't position yourself very well on the chair, your back is really going to pain you. And with a wrist pain, it deals with the input devices, which is the keyboard and the mouse. You should be able to rest your arms very well on the keyboard and the mouse. The computer also has the its own light that comes out. You need to decrease the light or you try and stay a little bit away from the computer when using it. Now let's look at the next one, which is what mobile phones. It can affect the what? Your earring, which is the earring impairment. Mobile phones also produces radiation, which can cause cancer. Try not to use your mobile phone whilst it's on charge. It can give you electric what? Shock. When you want to charge it, charge it, let it get full. After that, you use it. The next one is radio. When you open the radio very loud, it can affect your earring, which is the earring what? Impairment. So in the beginning of the lesson, our objective is to know what health hazard is and also the health hazard which is associated with some of the ICT tools. We got to know the definition of health hazards and we saw some of the hazards which is associated with the ICT tools. In our next lesson, we'll be looking at health hazard, health and safety in using ICT tools. This time around, we'll be talking about the safety precautions. See you in the next lesson.